strength's gone. So, how do you go with this thing? I was laughing about minding my own business when suddenly up he pops and heals me. Coroner wants to see you. Been another victim. Told me to say the main door will be open for you. You're to come as soon as you can. Plain knife wounds. Means bandits dropped them. Plain as that. Yes, Witcher? Bloody bandits. Can't go out in the streets no more. At least before they didn't used to kill women. Fool of foul of the king of beggars. You, Eustace, the corpse collector? I? How'd you know? Fourth sense, I think it is. You bring Fabian Meyer's body to the morgue? Fabian? Oh, yeah, I remember. <laughs> no ice, no art. One of them, right? No purse neither, as I recall. One of them? So there have been other bodies like that? Sure have. Beggars, street urchins, and street walkers. One went so portly, I had to cut her into pieces to fit her in me wheelbarrow. Slippery sow, they called her, on account of her. Some things are best left unsaid. What happened to the pieces? What do you mean? Reverend Nathaniel ordered them burned. Every last one. Oh, shame that was. Shame? Why? Actually, never mind. Another thing that's best left unsaid. You search Fabian's body? Well, I uh, cast an eye in his pockets. <laughs> Made sure nothing went to waste. I call a spade a spade. You rob corpses. And I call a prick a prick. It's none of your fucking concern. What, you tax collector? Piece off, mutant. What did you find on him? I, uh, as you wish. Triflings, baubles, glass beaded wing, handful of coins, and a letter. Look, vellum, quality parchment, that. <laughs> I'll wipe off the right inner sell it as new. That's human skin. Priscilla, next victim's name. If you'd given this to the right person, she might not have been hurt. What the fuck do I care what happens to some Priscilla? We sure are wenches in this town. Get out of my sight. Now. Geralt, right? I'm glad you're here. Held off on the autopsy till you arrived. Nice of you, especially given you didn't seem pleased about my previous visit. Because you came unannounced and in unfortunate company. I also had Reverend Nathaniel to contend with. Our spiritual caretaker has left the city on some important matter. And I know who you are, what drives you. I'm more than happy to aid your investigation. Not fond of Nathaniel? Very few people are. He's cruel and capricious. He stormed in here once, grabbed a scalpel I was sterilizing over a burner, sliced my back with it to the bone because I had forgotten to lock the storeroom. Hard to be fond of someone like that, wouldn't you agree? Who's the victim this time? Joris Aquinas, a lecturer in theology at Oxenfurt Academy. Found this morning at his home on a catafalque made of his books. Any titles in particular? It seems all the tomes dealt with the eternal fire Treaties critical of the faith's doctrines. 
Yeah, mortal sin in Novigrad. By the way, you and Von Gratz don't exactly get along. Why is that? I had him sent to prison. You see, Joachim led the student protests in 1242, a senseless and brutal revolt. People were dying, Witcher. Those who rejected liberty, equality, and fraternity would be found in the gutter come morning. Their throats slit from ear to ear with surgical precision. Joachim had been my favorite student, but alas, I had to do something. So I reported him. Then I left the university and found work in the morgue, where none care about my past. Whereas Joachim, oh, fate's ironies. Years later, he was appointed head of the very ward I had founded. How old's Von Gratz? Fifty? Sixty? Fifty-three, I believe. Why do you ask? You look a little young to have been his teacher. Not surprising. For years I've lived in the cold and dark, breathing the vapors of embalming fluids. In short, working with corpses extends one's life. Amusing, is it not? Let's start. Gladly. The wounds conform to the killer's modus operandi. The victim was bound and forced to drink formaldehyde. Next, the killer removed the eyes, placed burning coals in the sockets, then opened the rib cage and... What's this? A parchment? Made of human skin? A message from the murderer, the name of his next victim. Patricia Vagelbud. Gods, he knows no bounds. To attack Lady Vagelbud, heiress of such a prominent family. Where is she? Tell me. She resides in an estate beyond the city, north of Oxenford. Gotta find her, now. What are your wounds? Need to talk to Patricia Vagelbud. You think any bum off the street can... Her life's in danger. Let me in or have her blood on your hands. If you thought this up, and I'll let you in, I'll throw my ass out the door. Always thought a guard was supposed to protect his charge, not his ass. So be it. I'll take you to Lady Vagelbud. Just no trickery. Understand? Yes, good fellow? If it's work you seek. Don't know that I'm all that good. Name's Geralt. Looking for Patricia Vagelbud. Her life's in danger. In danger? Come now. I saw Mother this morning. She seemed sad, true, but in perfect health. No time to explain. Trust me, please. I find this all very hard to believe. But you appear to be quite serious. Please. Follow me. A fire fit for Bellatane, except it's the wrong time of year. I mentioned Mother seemed sad. Do you remember? In fact, she's in the midst of a crisis of faith. A rather serious one. We'd been to Novigrad. Mother had seen the pyres in High Rock Square, but had not a word on our way home. She had all the holy books and signals reliquaries gathered, taken outside and burnt. Then she locked herself in her room. We need to hurry. Hear that? Calm and quiet. All seems to be in order. We should go in, just to be sure. You're relentless, aren't you? Fine. But wait here, please. Mother's certainly not in the mood for guests. Stop! 
Spread out! Murderer's still here! There he is! Get him! You're gonna make me wait. Die, mutant! Halt! Or I'll put a bolt between your eyes! Listen, you got the wrong guy. Save your trickery, taking you to the heiress. <sighs> Well, killer's already escaped. Lead the way, hero. We got him, Lady Ingrid. Wasn't easy, but... Lower that crossbow before you hurt yourself. This man is innocent. Forgive me. I saw him running. Thought it was the killer fleeing. I was chasing him, and I'd have caught him if you hadn't gotten in my way. Out of my sight, at once! Mother, why did he do this to her? Why? Murderer might have grown bored of prostitutes and beggars. Might have wanted to see how the upper classes die. Ingrid, I know this is a hard time for you, but... Usually the killer leaves a note on the body. A note indicating his next victim. May I? Very well. But you should be on your own. I do not wish to see her in this state. I do not wish to remember her like that. And let her be the last victim. Please. Bruises, broken fingernails. She defended herself. Must be why it took him longer, and why he almost got caught. Here it is. Sweet Nettie, crippled Kate's. Growing bolder, not just the name, but the place too. Won't get away this time. Another empty formaldehyde bottle. Same wounds as the previous victims. Examination would be a waste of time. Gotta get to crippled Kate's, fast.
No one will hear you, bitch. Not a soul. You, though? Whole town will hear you in a minute. Yet again you disturbed me. And I so dislike being disturbed. I was to play with sweet Nettie, render her not so sweet, but I shall see to you first. What, no foreplay? No formaldehyde? Coals in my eye sockets? What the fuck are you on about? Murder. You killed Fabian Meyer, Patricia Vagelbud, and many others. <coughs> Bollocks. You're mistaken, vagrant. Found a message on Patricia's body. Led me here to crippled Kate's. To sweet Nettie. If you didn't leave it, who did? I don't know. But I see we must talk. Calmly. Who knew you'd be here? Strangely enough, I don't announce these outings far and wide. There's but one man who... That, that's impossible. He treats even corpses with kid gloves. The coroner. Said you were busy, that you wouldn't visit the morgue. Gotta go after him. Go. But to Warehouse 12 at the docks. He's there this time of day, procuring supplies. Formaldehyde. I shall stay here. I've unfinished business with sweet Nettie. After all... I paid in advance. Then you'll pay again. For her, for all the other women you've tortured. You're free now. And I said, for the right price, of course. And then he smiled. Oh, God, it gave me the shivers. And then he hit me. So hard I passed out. I was bound when I came to. And he was here in the poker, in the fire. <laughs> Calm down. He won't hurt you anymore. He won't hurt anyone. formaldehyde. I underestimated you. You almost caught me in flagrante delicto. Now you've seen through my bluff with Nathaniel. Although, you've not divined all, I see. Had you, you would have drawn your silver sword. Who, what are you? A vampire. Higher, of course. Got a reason for killing? A reason to torture? Hmm. I thought you'd figure that out as well. The symbolism's rather obvious. Coals for those who are blind to the fire. The egg of a salamander born of fire to replace their cold, doubting hearts. Fire down the throat that... Yeah, symbolism's clear. What's not is why a vampire would kill in the name of the eternal fire. Should be equally obvious. I concur with the Church's diagnosis. 
Novigrad is a fallen city. Its population amnesiacs to the very concepts of decency and morality. So I decided to remind them, in a manner they'd be certain to notice. Tortured logic. Yet logic, nonetheless. I'm glad you perceived that, at least. Fight fire with fire, as they say. Give a thought to my victims. A lecherous woodcarver who'd spend his last copper on whores. An old countess who defiled symbols of the faith. A Trebirates for whom nothing was sacred, nothing above ridicule. They did not deserve to live. But their deaths could be a lesson to others. Awaken them, scare them onto the correct path, the path to the fire, to cleansing, to salvation. For you, I'm afraid it's too late. You are a man of little faith. I sense this. Mm-hmm. But I'm pretty good with a sword. Pretty good. My not cut it. Better, right? Y yes Did you take care of what I asked? Yeah, the witch's way. Thank you, Geralt. From me and Priscilla. Did my part. Your turn now. Take care of her. Good care. I will. You'll see. Treat her better than the Dryads of Broccolon could. She's talking again. Nice surprise. Isn't it? Professor Von Gratz told me her wounds are healing faster than a troll's. 
Not the most flattering comparison, but encouraging. Maybe she might even sing again someday. For now, we'll try performing as a duo. She'll play the lute, I'll sing. Dandelion and Kalanetta. Got a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Sounds great. Good luck, Dandelion. On stage and off. <laughs> 